Welcome back. <laughs> oh what my god. Ew. <laughs> Today we are going. Good morning. Hey everyone, we're gonna be doing a night routine. <laughs> the video is going to be with Stop. my roommates, or at we're least recording. two of them. Kristen. Hi. That's me. And Libby. <laughs> <laughs> She just Please fell. Stop. No. Wait, why did I laugh when I said before? I need to try to tell you guys what we're doing. I have never seen Harry Potter. Um, Libby, oh, oh. Libby loves it. Her accent is amazing. Um, and oh, Kristen God. also mm. enjoys watching. But yeah, it is like 9 p.m. and they're like two hours and 30 minutes. My bedtime is usually 9:30, but we're gonna stick it out. And I'm gonna watch the first, the first. Um, <laughs> Ruby. Nice. <Hey>, Ew. <laughs> Say hi. Bye. Thank hi. you. A blog. Blog. Bloggers. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Thank you. Are they out? Aww. Aww. Are they out there still? The <laughs> so London just dropped off the HDMI cord. Like you guys know. <laughs> Why isn't it focused? Oh, there we go. Good morning. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do face masks. Um, I had two like sheet masks, so Kristen is doing one and I'm doing the other. And then Libby's doing some type of mask. I don't really know. You'll find out. Where do my eyes? It's cool. <laughs> it makes my teeth look a little bit white. <laughs> No, that's like, I love that. That's my favorite kind of mask. Yeah. You can be my inside friend. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so zooming out. <laughs> <laughs> I zoom out. Why aren't you zooming out? The bay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Kristen's one of the people that claps after movies, but that's okay. We love it. <laughs> um, I thought it was good. I predicted a lot. I'm good at predicting movies. So let me get ready for bed now. I just tried to check my watch, but I have no watch on. So. Okay, guys. It is time for movie number two. Bed class and like this is the only time we can do it if we want to get the right time. Okay. Just I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Squad. And after and tell you guys my thoughts. Okay, we just finished the second movie. It's Libby's favorite. I don't know if I already said that. It's your favorite? Yeah. What? <laughs> but basically <laughs> I wanted to say this the last time we watched, but every time Oh no. no. Every time Snape comes on the screen, I don't know why, but my mind just goes like, Daddy. No! <laughs> ew, 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 ew. And like, it's not, I don't find him attractive, but it's just like my brain is like making a joke. She's lying. No, I'm not. <laughs> she loves him. She loves Daddy. No! Fourth one, because, you know, Cedric. Cedric. Is it Cedric? It is Cedric. Okay. And you know, I'm a, I'm not even gonna say it. I now I have actual work to get done. It is 125. That was like perfect timing. Yeah. Kristen has a meeting at 1:30, so that was actually like. Okay. Yep. Okay, guys, it's Friday night. This is how freshman girls in college spend their Friday nights. <laughs> we have a very, very healthy mm. um, yes. board. Mm. So health. Kristen made it. Look so health. That. So beautiful. We also got pizzas this right there. This is my there. favorite part of Chex Mix. Mine too. Really? The bread pieces. We're going to watch number three and number four tonight, I think. At least. Wait, what's the starting time? It is 6.40 currently, 6.39. So, Libby, Libby got it. She's yeah, because uh, the boys took ours. Oh, sushi. Mm. Mm. Sticky rice. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. So, Kristen has done a little 
sometimes hurts your stomach. I think that's why she's doing this. Right? I also just feel she's like I close. haven't had any vegetables today. So she is picking out what is it? Avocado imitation crab. Mm, there's no crab in it. It's just no. carrots. Okay. Cucumber and avocado. Man, I was thinking of a different one so though, cool. right? You were thinking of California roll. Yay. Free and has no cheese on it. Although pepperoni technically isn't dairy free, but it's fine. It looks yummy. Oh. Even if it's blurry, this is my belly mask. But now I gotta pay attention to Harry Potter, so peace. Peace out. So, movie three <laughs> is done. Um, I really thought Sirius um, and Lupin were going to be bad guys, but they weren't. So that was like, oh, that was an interesting twist. Um, I hate that little rat. What's his name? Peter. I hate Peter. Scabbers. Uh, Snape is still a daddy. Ew! <laughs> Ew! 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 Hey! Hey. Yo. Oh, the movie. Hey. Oh, the 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 girl posse came in our room just a little bit ago. But it was fun. Um they're going, they're playing games in the basement. We're grinding out these Harry Potter vids, right? Movies, <laughs> videos. <laughs> okay, wait, don't look at the screen. Why? Because it might be a spoiler. Uh, no. Okay. We're good? Okay. okay. Well, we're ready. Bye. Harry's hair is not in for me. No, it's That's too long. <laughs> I'm sewing. <gasps> It's Aubrey. Um, we just finished watch finished watching the fourth um, Harry Potter movie. Um, spoiler alert: Cedric died, and I'm really sad because I love um, Robert Pattinson. So yeah, thanks for watching the vlog. We'll keep you posted about number five. Libby says she's not looking forward to number six. But again, you'll find out how we feel. Apparently it's about Snape, and we all know how I feel about Snape. Ew. I'm just kidding. She's uh, not kidding. I am kidding. <laughs> no. Okay, I'll tell you everyone that I've found attractive so far. You want to hear Did it? you find them attractive in one scene, besides the certain scene. <laughs> <laughs> so, Oliver. Yes. What's his last Oliver name? Wood. Ollie. Oliver Wood. Draco Malfoy. Um, Ron was like little boy cute in the second one. Mm -hmm. And then Harry was like kind of cute in the third one. 13 years old. I can't believe <laughs> I'm saying that. Tom <laughs> Riddle. Yeah. Oh, Tom Young Riddle. Young Riddle. Are you? Y'all ready? I'm gonna let you hit it for free. Nick Minaj. Y'all ready? Okay, is that it? Um, you like? I mean, obviously Neville. Cedric. Neville, Neville is like. Moment. Neville is like a cute guy. Like, if he had nice teeth, he would be cute. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> so we're halfway through. I like it a lot. I can't believe it's taking me this long to watch it. But I'm glad I'm watching it with my roommates. Or at least two of them. Bonding time. <laughs> the camera's for real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you guys. I think we're gonna watch the fifth one on Sunday probably. So and then we have a week to watch the other three. Yep. Hey guys. 
So I'm actually filming another video while I'm updating you guys, um, but I just wanted to tell you guys I've kind of had a joke about Snape while watching all the movies and I think my phone, my phone definitely has been listening. First off, just like my Instagram and TikTok have been flooded with Harry Potter stuff, but today, mm, today <laughs> on TikTok I was just sitting in bed and a Snape, like, daddy TikTok was on my For You page. <laughs> I should have saved it, but it was just like, I'm not even, anyways, that's an update. So, it is Sunday night, and I forgot to vlog, but we watched the fifth movie of Harry Potter. It was actually really good. I, I would say that's probably in, like, my top favorites. Really? Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Me too. I like the teamwork in it. Yeah. And it was just like, I am so ready to see like what Bellatrix does. Yes. Like I know she's an awful character, but like I feel like things are getting very action-y. And I love action movies, so. Hey, we're watching Harry Potter. It's so dark. Harry Potter. I'm dressed as Professor Quirrell. Who had Voldemort on his head? Disgusting. Um, yeah, so today's the sixth. Uh, what's this one called? Half Blood Prince. I knew it. HBP. Um, but yeah, we're excited. Kristen just got done with one of her classes. Yes, my very last exam. Yay! And yeah, I feel bad because yesterday I didn't vlog. I kind of told you guys a little bit, but I actually really enjoyed the fifth one. Um, I'm not going to rank them until I've seen all of them, but yeah, we're ready to start. Finished, and I have a couple things to say. First of all, I didn't know that Dumbledore died, so that was a shock. But I feel like... Um, like, something had to happen. Libby said, like, she would usually skip that, like, besides, like, him dying, basically. But there was some progression with love, which was nice to see, I guess. I don't know. Um, but, so, first thought is I don't think Draco, like, wants to do what he's doing. Like, I just think it's all he knows. And so he feels like he has to. Because you could see him like crying when he was about. Oh, spoiler! This entire video is spoilers. By yeah, the way. you just go for it. Yeah. But you could see like him lowering his wand and him crying like when it happened, and then eventually Snape killed Dumbledore. Which, first off, I don't think Snape is a necessarily bad guy either. I don't know. I still have two more videos to watch or movies to watch. But you know, I've just had this thing with Snape this entire time, and I just can't end like that. So, bro, my eyelashes look long. Hey guys, Kristen's picking us up food. Uh, Libby's in the bathroom, like I said. And we are about to start the second to last movie. We're actually going to watch both of them. I got done with my kid lab at like 4.30. And I thought we were going to start it a little bit earlier. But I forgot I had some homework to do. And a, a bio lab to do. So, it is currently 6.05. When Kirsten gets back, we're probably going to start it right away. But, yeah, I'm excited. And I can't wait to see. I told, I already told Libby my predictions. And I've kind of, okay, I think I saw on her on Instagram or something where, like, someone loved Lily, but she didn't love him back. But I didn't know who it was. And so, basically, I've been trying to guess. And my conclusion is, is that it's Snape. Libby's not going to tell me. I don't want her to tell me. But I just like, I just think Snape is a good guy. As you guys know, something has drawn me towards him every single movie. So, <laughs> Libby just gagged. But I refuse to believe that he, I know he was a Death Eater. But I don't think he still is one. I think he, I just, I just don't believe it. I don't. I'm yeah. not okay with Snape. So. <gasps> Snape. 
Oh. Him. Okay, see, that makes me think he's bad. I don't maybe think he's a bad he's guy. Maybe he's bad. I don't know. I just don't like him. Okay. That's okay. My Here, oh, this, look at my shirt. It says Kansas Medicine. Yay. We just finished the first part. Um, it is 8.34. Actually, Allison's mom got us all Christmas presents, so that's really sweet. I cried over Dobby's death. It was sad. It was very sad. I can't wait to finish the Harry Potter series. Um, we have one we have more. We have to watch tonight. But it just ended on a cliffhanger. It, Dobby, like the good guy, just died. Have you all seen it or no? I haven't seen it since like fifth grade. I have never seen it before, ever. Okay. Um, but it yeah. was an emotional one, though. Yeah, it was, sad. it was really good. This is kind of crazy. We're about to start the last, the last movie, which is kind of sad. Yeah, I think this is the shortest movie. It's only like an hour and fifty-eight minutes, right, mm -hmm. Libby? Or we just finished the last one. Um, it was crazy. My predictions were correct. Um, <laughs> Flex. I just want to say I really enjoyed it. I loved hanging out with these two. I want to read the books for sure, just for more info. But like I knew Snape was a good guy. Um, I wanted bit or I wanted more for Draco, and like they got out of that. It was a talk it, talk it. <laughs> it was a toxic relationship, and they I got guess. out of it. So that was awesome. Also, at the end, they made them look really older like they did a good job at that so how many times have you seen it i don't know at least did i mute it three times all the way through this year three times this all year. the way through this year this is august and i watched <laughs> it by myself when i was in quarantine and then with my brother so probably 10 times total my whole life bro and then this is Kristen's second time watching it, but like she doesn't remember anything. Yeah, I was surprised watching it. Um, like I've been seeing it as a studio, so I know, like, I know the names of things. Like that. So, <laughs> yeah, but I love this so much. It's way past my bedtime. It was worth it though. Peace, love. I might add later on, but we can all do the outro. You guys know it. Peace. <laughs> Bye, Bye, guys. guys. Okay, guys. So that was some vlog clips from me watching Harry Potter for the first time. I had so much fun with my roommates, Libby and Kristen, watching it with them, bonding with them. It was so much fun. Before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and rank um them i guess honestly it was hard for me to rank them because i honestly appreciate all of them i kind of just made this list up so don't judge me too hard i don't really have any reasonings specifically for them but anyway so number one is goblet of fire i love robert pattison so obviously i would love this i love the entire like um, Kristen said it kind of reminded her of Hunger Games and I also kind of got those vibes. It's just like more action-y and that's when Voldemort first appeared and so that one was really really exciting. I have this Order of the Phoenix. I just like this because I thought there was a lot of teamwork. Um, we saw some more action. This is when things started actually happening. Next I have Deathly, Deathly Hollows Part 2. Obviously, these are kind of like going by action. I really enjoyed this part just because everything kind of closed up nicely. And it was also amazing seeing the actors like 19 years from when they were kids. And they actually look the exact same as how they are today. I just thought it was really cool. I knew Harry Potter like pretended to be dead. And so that was just um, awesome like seeing that all play out. I had Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, I really liked being introduced to Sirius and Lupin. I thought they were going to be bad guys, but they actually turned out to be good guys, and that was really exciting. We also saw Snape kind of protect um, the gang. If you guys know my thing with Snape, then I have no more explaining to do. Chamber of Secrets. Um, obviously, there's Tom Riddle in this. Super, super cute. Um, also, I just like... 
I thought it was really good. Like the Chamber of Secrets was just a good plot and I liked it a lot. Literally, uh, I just filmed this and now I'm editing it and somehow I forgot to add um, the Half-Blood Prince. So this would be like my third to last. I really liked it. Um, I thought it was important to see Dumbledore like, you know, dying, but um, I didn't think there was too much in it. Just like Libby said, I was shocked to hear that it was about Snape though. So that's it but back to the program definitely hallows part one um honestly i should have put this on the last on the last one just because i mean stuff progressed it was just awful dobby died i can't like excuse you um that cannot happen um also i think this is the one where oh yeah obviously it's the one where hermione got tortured by bellatrix which i had been waiting to see i already knew that happened um, it just like it wasn't as intense as I expected it to be and the last one I have is Sorcerer's Stone I thought this was a great one just like nothing really happened um, I thought it was really cute when Ron stayed back for Christmas that way um, Harry wasn't alone but yeah that's my ranking and now I'm just going to go over some of my notes from it these are just some general <laughs> um, thoughts so first I have I knew Snape was a baddie I knew Snape was not bad that kind of contradicted itself because I said Snape is a baddie but like he's not a bad guy like he is like he's amazing that's all I have to say um don't doubt Snape Libby actually she was like oh I just don't like Snape she was just saying that that way I wouldn't know but anyways yeah bro I low-key hate Peter and Umbridge more than Voldemort I don't know why but when Peter comes on screen I'm just like sorry that was a graphic but that's just how I feel um and Umbridge like bruh. um although I love her if you guys know me you know I love pink and her fits were to die for like I would let her kill me if I could wear her clothes no I wouldn't never mind I would die for Ravenclaw's professor I am a Ravenclaw I did that test um i just thought he was like so fun in the movies i know we didn't see him that much but um in deathly hollows 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 however you say it um in part two he was just like i just loved how he was like ready to die for hogwarts and i don't know like i got chills right now like i i just loved it fred was done wrong like honestly i love the weasley twins well the weasley family in general like literally oh no we do not stand percy he did us wrong don't stand percy but fred was done wrong like i thought they would touch more on his death but we just like saw him lying down and then that was it like give me more fred content please since i low-key stand bellatrix i don't know why i just love helena as an actress and so i was so excited to see her in these movies and that's all i have to say okay this kristen and i could not stop talking about this why didn't they make it look like harry and hermione were going to date especially in deathly hollows part one like they would get really close and then they would just like sit there like it would be like this is me and me i'm hermione you're harry <laughs> i can't believe i just did that i don't know if i'm gonna keep that in or not this is also kind of connected is like it literally took so long to have any romance and i know that's not the part or like the point of the series but like you got to keep us engaged like to have the romance finalized in the last movie is just annoying and libby said in the books um jenny and harry like you could tell they were in love with each other and i just like i couldn't see that in the movie now ron and hermione i could see that they loved each other they just kind of like didn't want to admit it so that was a little better but like jenny and harry i thought it like was awkward personally libby bought them she's reading them currently i think she's gonna bring them um back to the dorm next semester and whenever she's done um i'm probably gonna borrow them from her and read them this is my final note i would recommend these movies i loved it so much i can't believe it took me this long to watch them i'm definitely going to be watching them again i know lennon wants to watch them so i might watch them with him anyways yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this video this was a lot of fun i had I had I spent so much time watching Harry Potter but it was definitely well worth it. If you enjoyed make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below it would be greatly appreciated. Peace and love. Bye guys. Stan Snape that's all I gotta say. Feeling good. Hey, feeling good. Like I should.
If you're really Aubrey, who's your crush? <laughs> Daddy Snake. <Ew. laughs> this is me doing normal Aubrey things. Shake my shoulders. <laughs> no, Aubrey always says that she goes. You do that. No, but she does that too. I got it from you, but now I do it more than you do. Look, it's Libby and Kristen. Which one's Libby and which one's Kristen? Irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> Back to me. Okay. This is me sitting at my desk. Cut the cameras. For real. 